And now it's time to read the high frequency words first. These are words that we have learned before and we were just uh, we will just go through them, okay? So let's read them together. Okay? Now uh, we have the word ball, blue, both, even, for, help, put, there, why, and yellow. Here we have the words could, find, funny, green, how, little, one, or, see, and the word sounds. Let's move on to the worksheet and we will solve it together. We have to write a spelling word on the line to complete each sentence. But first, let's read the words together. We have the word tell, not, the word tub, bun, and pet. Okay? Sentence number one. Tom has a pet dog. No, sentence number two. I will blank Jen how to get to my house. I will tell Jen how to get to my house. It is blank nice to be mean. It is not nice to be mean. Of course it's not. Sentence number four. Jill had a bath in the tub. Sentence number five. The blank is baking in the oven. The bun is baking in the oven. Here we have to read the following high frequency words and then write them in alphabetic order or in ABC order. Uh, I'll tell you how after we read the words together. We have the word could, sounds, funny, green, see, little, one. We have the word or, how, and find. Uh, we all know our alphabets, right? Uh, the alphabets in order. A, B, C, D, and so on. I'll tell you how. The first letter in the alphabetic order is the letter A. What comes after A? The letter B. Do we have any word that begins with the letter B? No. What comes after B? The letter C. Do we have any word that begins with the letter C? Yes, we have the word good. Let's write it down. What comes after the letter C? D. What comes after the letter D? E. What comes after E? F, right? A, B, C, D, E, F. Do we have any word that begins with the letter F? Yes, we have the word funny and find. Should I write funny or find first? I'm going to write the word find. Why? Because after the letter F, we have the letter I. And in the word funny, after the letter F, we have the letter U. Okay? And the letter I comes before the letter U. That's why I wrote the word find before funny. Okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Any word that begins with letter G, let's find, let's find, yes, we have the word green, green. What comes after letter G? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We have the letter H, any word that begins with the letter H, yes, the word how. H, I, J, K, L. 
Any word that begins with the letter L? Yes, yes, we have the word little. L M N O O. Any word that begins with the letter O? Yes, we have two words, miss. We have the word one and the word or. Am I going to write the word one or or before? I'm going to write the word one. Why? Because N comes before letter R. Okay. M-N-O-P-Q-R-S. We have the word sounds and C. I'm going to write C. Because the letter E comes before the letter O. And finally, we write the word sounds. Let's move on to the second exercise. We have to fill in each shape with the correct high frequency word. We have the word OR, C, funny sounds. We can see this shape. Do you think the word OR fits here? Let's see how many letters. One, two, three, four, five, six. The word sounds. Now, let's go to this shape. Mm, one, two, three. So it's the word C. Let's move on to this. Is it or or funny? Yes, it's the word funny. And here we write the word or. Great, let's continue. This is the grammar exercise. We have to write the correct end mark to each sentence. Let's read the sentences together. Sentence number one. Can I read the book? Mm, I'm asking, can I read the book? So, it's a question. We have to put a question mark. Sentence number two. Look out. Look out. Can you feel the strong feeling or can you hear the strong feeling in this sentence? So, it's exclamation. We have to add the exclamation mark. Sentence number three, the dog ate dinner. The sentence is telling us that the dog ate dinner. It's a telling sentence, so it's a statement. Number four, wow, wow. Can you hear the strong feeling? Yes, so let's put the exclamation mark. Sentence number five, what time is it? The sentence is asking, what time is it? So, it's a question. We have to put the question mark. Let's move on. The cat is black. Mm, so, it's a telling sentence, right? The cat is black. Number seven, do you have a pen? I'm asking, do you have a pen? It's a question. Sentence number eight. The car is red. The car is red. I'm telling you that the car is red. It's a telling sentence, so it's a statement. Great job, everyone.